being the youngest woman mm. distributing, you know. Wow. You know, we normally collect the cheats and then we collect the goods to go and sell to people. So we're actually distributors. I see. So Nestle Ghana, Unilever, mm. I was also printing uh, cloth. This is our Ghanaian cloth from um, GTP, mm -hmm. ATL, you know, and all those companies. So I was very industrious, I would say, mm. because I like to work. Oh. But then I was owning a, a shop. I had a shop at uh, Kanishi, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, my late husband doesn't want me to be selling or distributing because when I leave the house, I don't come back early. Oh. And the children are left in the hands of the house helps. Mm. So he doesn't like it. Mm. So one day he told me that, no, I want you to go back to where, what you were doing before I saw you. Mm. Don't forget that I saw you in the kitchen. I wow. met you in the kitchen wow. where you prepared food for somebody. Okay. And I said, who is that woman? And they said, it is um, Paulina, who happens to be my elder sister, Paulina's younger sister. Hmm. Ah, and she can cook. Wow. So I am going to marry her. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So you know what? Mm. So uh, with that one, he forced me, and there was no peace at home. Mm. I have to go and look for a place to really polish up my, you know, my, what God has given to me. Okay. Because everybody has a potential in life. Right. And he used to say that where your potential can take you, mm. your, where your credentials might not. Wow. You see, where your potential, your God-given talent can take you, your credentials might not. I agree. So in other words... Why should somebody be just be ordinary footballer, mm -hmm. be making it so well mm. and earning all the good names, you know, in the world, and even a, a mere person who will be a singer right. will sing beautifully right. because that is what God has given to everybody. That's your credit. That's, That's your right. potential. Yes, certainly. So you need to look for it. So mm. that is what you have. God has endowed you with that, and cooking should be your business. Wow. You see. So he actually was force me into this go back to your god-given talent mm. so i have to go looking for us excuse me a school mm. to okay. really polish up okay so that's why i have to go to pegados mm -hmm. where i went to do cake decorations okay. as well as picking and everything okay so okay. Uh, he was happy mm. and he at the last day where i have to do my practicals i chose a biscuit that mm -hmm. they taught us in school okay and that biscuit is called cut out. Oh wow. Don't forget that those days I was managing three shops in Accra. Because I like to work. Mm. I have to go and collect cloth, mm -hmm. I have to collect collect uh, Nestle's products, mm -hmm. call flour. Mm -hmm. I was everywhere. Yeah. And but he didn't like it. So well I have to do what pleases him mm. so that he will be happy. Okay. So he encouraged me mm. and that was the biscuit I did okay. during my exam. Right. And it's called cutout. Cut out. Mm. So when I brought you it, you should have brought me a special cutout. I tell you, <laughs> I'll do that for you. All right. And then my children took it to school. Mm -hmm. My older girl. Okay. She said, "Mommy, when I went to school, my teacher said she liked the biscuits because mm. you know I used the this uh, 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 cutters of uh, elephants, those animals, oh, and those okay. uh, yeah, those cutters to okay. cut it. To cut it, okay. Exactly. So it comes out in those shapes. Exactly, those shapes. So, okay. so with children, those are very Absolutely. exciting. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Okay. So I said, no, me, I don't think I'll have time for that. Mm. Not knowing my husband had it. Mm. He said, no, Gertrude. If children talk, you have to listen. Because if you don't count the persua, mm. you will never count the CD. Wow. <laughs> I can say that in even, your life. Even though I was counting the CDs, but he didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> So I right. have to start counting the first one now. Mm -hmm. oh, I said, how do I do that? <laughs> he said, don't worry, I'll help you. Okay. So he started. So then when I bring homework from school, I have to be doing homework, doing the homework for the children, and I have to plan my itineraries mm -hmm. for the next day's work. Right. Because I have workers I have to pay. Okay. I will do the, the biscuits, and he will go and look for containers to put back them in. He would? Yes, like these Danish containers and yes. pack them in. Okay. And these children would carry this biscuit to, to school. school. And they carried on when the first five days, they brought these coins and none was lost. Wow. Everything was up mm. to the amount. Ah, then I 
realize that if I have to go and change this money, mm. it became plenty. Mm. Ah, this business. Yeah. Oh, then this one is even better than what I'm doing, running around, you know, that kind of thing. So I said, no, let me continue. So I increased it, mm. increased it. Mm. And he will be helping me, oh, wow. even to late hour. So he said, no, we have to form a company. And that company, before I was running to reach yeah. enterprise. Okay. So I combined my father's name and my name. Okay. He said, no, I will name it Amber. Okay. Because this biscuit yes. is what is going to give you your future work. That's and, your talent. And it turned out to be prophetic. In your and case, you'll be surprised that when you I go started, on, in your case, yeah. we'll say that they say behind every successful man, yes. there's a woman. But yes. in your case, yes. behind every successful woman, there's it's, a man. It's both. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> All right. Yes. So, can we go? So can he, yes. Yeah, he really encouraged me. Mm. And mm. Uh, that, bis that business mm -hmm. grew to where it is today. Okay. So, I would say it's from a humble beginning okay. because from my kitchen oven, yeah. to where you are saying I'm back today. Right. I'm so pleased because sometimes these things that you don't think there there will be there to be anything, mm. that is what God wants to show to people that yes, if you take certain things seriously, it can lead you into something big. Wow. So Amba is actually a family business. Wow. And I always encourage my children that this one is a family business. Mm. Whatever you are today mm. This one should be your core business. Mm. You should take it up mm. and learn it properly because you don't know. It's taking us to places. Mm. And this has taken me to several places where I have to see myself in countries that I did not think I would go. Right. But to go and cook for people to eat, you know, Ghanaian dishes, mm. Ghana Day. Mm. And we even went to South Africa to prepare Gary Photo with the chefs, wow. even to win an award. A gold Ghana. award, actually. So you see... Talents are there. Mm. But you need to look for it. Yes. South Africa, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, yes, Ethiopia, yes, Senegal, yes, Morocco, yes, Egypt, yes. USA, <laughs> Great Britain, Canada, <laughs> Germany, China, Absolutely. Israel, mm. United Arab Emirates. Lots. It's basically food that has taken you to all these countries. All these places. So what did you go and do in, say, United Arab Emirates? What took you there? We went for uh, a conference. That conference was to actually teach the hospitality industry. Okay. So we went to the university oh. where they taught us mm -hmm. how to actually attract foreigners mm. into like uh, experts, mm. expatriates, mm. who come to our country to come and look for our delicacies. Oh. So we were taught oh. some of the Arab dishes mm -hmm. and uh, we also brought our Ghanaian food on board. Wow. That's what happened. So you were practically ambassadors for Ghana. I tell you. And that's what you have been so all the way well. to China. I tell you. China must have been interesting. <laughs> it's a huge country. <laughs> to learn a lot from them mm. where they don't actually overcook their food. Okay, yeah. Something like potatoes. Yes. They can even shred it mm. and add soya sauce and all those things to and it. And it's ready to go. And that is the food. <laughs> and <laughs> most of their food is actually braised. Mm. You know, vegetables mm. braised, mm -hmm. chicken braised, mm -hmm. and their rice is braised as well. Mm. And there was a time I was even asking that I wanted some fried rice. Mm -hmm. And they would tell me they don't know how to prepare fried rice because it is not on their menu. In China? Yes. Because, so, you know, you buy Chinese in the U.S. I was, and I it was, doesn't taste like the Chinese I'm in Osu. I'm telling you. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know where that word Chinese rice came from. Mm. Because in China, you will never have any place, any place preparing mm. China. Chinese rice I or see. Chinese rice, no. Interesting. No. Very interesting. Fried rice. But yes, so there. there was a point when you were, should I say, the official food maker yeah. at the banquet hall. Yeah. If, if I'm right, because yeah. I attended a few weddings, yeah. and your name always came up because people were always right. like, "Wow, who did yeah. this food?" Right. And then because you know, the tendency is for you to ask the couple yes. who prepared your food, that's and right. then they'll say, "Oh, we came here, and the person who does the food here mm. is Mrs. Squashiga." Yes. So that's how come I heard your yeah. name for the first yes, time. Yes, 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 yes. How many years were you there for, and why did you leave? Um, we were working at the at uh, the trade fair. Mm -hmm. Actually, we started from the house. Oh, yes. Before we have to move out because the business was growing. Okay. <laughs> so we have to move up because the workers, my workers, mm -hmm. were actually misbehaving. Oh. And then my late husband wouldn't like it because sometimes when you put something down, you know workers, yeah. and they're in discipline. Mm. So we have to move them out to mm. the trade fair. Okay. So that is where our office was. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Yes. I see. So, but the banquet hall, how long were you there for? 
Uh, actually, I what didn't was the reside nature? there. It, ah, was, yeah. it was like banquet hall. We yeah. go there to offer services. Offer services. So yes, you were never a resident no, no, or anything? No, not at all. But did you, was there any point where you stopped? Because uh, I remember there was a time when somebody also asked about your presence yeah. at a, a wedding that we attended later. That's right. And we were told that you were not there anymore. So that's, I think that's what gave us no. the impression that you were there because at some people point. People just take me mm. because we know, because in business, you should have an experience. Okay. So we know how things should be done in that orderly way okay. over there. Oh, I see. So we, we just try to bring our own concept mm. on board. And everybody sees it and liked it. Mm -hmm. And people loved it too. Yeah. So they always want us to, you know, okay. handle the events there for them. Mm. And then our prices were also very affordable. And um, there was enough for people to eat at the that's time. That's we never fact. get short. Mm. So Mrs. Koshiga will always cook and everybody will have something to eat. Great. That was the message. I can see that you don't want to answer why you didn't go there. <laughs> uh, you stopped going there, so as it were. Yeah. And trying to stay away from it. But somehow I'm staying with it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you don't want to tell me? No, actually, you know, in business, so my business was private. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to get that place okay. so that I can stay there okay. and use the facilities. Okay. But I was told that no, mm. because, you know, state hotels, they have their workers. Okay. And then they still had the workers there. Mm. So my business was private. Okay. So mine is to establish my private business. Okay. And if somebody takes me there mm. or any other place, okay. I can be delighted to do that. So because we're going all over the country right, and all over the world to yeah. just render our services. There was right. no political angle to no, it. No. Because th that also made some news. That's right. At some point. <laughs> but maybe, I'll, I'll stop maybe, bothering maybe you. Maybe now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop bothering you on that. Yeah. And ask you, for example, yeah. that, so really, in, in Jello Kope, yeah. uh, I'm, uh, I don't know when you were born, and I'm not about to ask you, but yeah. I can safely assume it must have been in the 40s or 50s, thereabouts. No, I was born on the 1st of February, mm -hmm. 1960. Oh, 60? Yes. Wow. And I'm 52 years, and 52. I'm in my 50s. 53rd year now. Congratulations. <laughs> 1950. Yeah, oh, wow. 1960. 60. Yes. 60. So yes. you are a Republican baby, so yes. to speak. Because that's the year Ghana became a Republic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What was it like in Jalukofe at that time? Uh, Jalukofe, we went to school. Mm -hmm. We were born there mm. and bred there. But then life must continue. Mm. After our education in the elementary, okay. Uh, we moved to Kita Secondary School. Okay. Yes, Kita Secondary School, okay. my alma mater. Kitasco. Yeah, Kitasco. <laughs> <laughs> now Kita Senior High, High School. School. That's yes, right. That's right. That's right. So f after the school, mm -hmm. we move out. Okay. Because of course, life becomes very boring mm -hmm. if you have to stay there, and uh, you must you must move out to continue your education. So that's what we did. Okay. Yes, but my parents are all there. They still are yeah, there. They are Both still of them there. are alive. No. Yes, of course. My mother is there, but my okay. father is in Tema. He's been in Tema all along. Oh, I see. That's right. Okay. Yes. So, was, are there any memories from, from, from growing up in Keta? Um, yes. It's because now good. the sea has taken most of the land away. Uh, we were in Jalukofa. Mm. So, but those who were in Kita, mm -hmm. as well as uh, getting to Keji, where yes. my late husband Yes. And is the Keji from, is a bordering town to Keta. Right, that's yes. right. So, they had... Uh, the, the real problems, mm. yes, but, but for us, we never had any problems. So your family home is still yes, intact? still there. It's still there. So our place now has become the city, or the real town now. Okay. That's right. We call it the city of, of the Volta region. I see. Yes. That's very interesting. <laughs> That's very exciting. Yeah. So professional certificate in food production, professional certification in food production, certificate in management and productivity, <laughs> certificate in entrepreneurship, specialist cert certificate cake baking, pastries, decoration, yeah. certificate in management, mm. certificate in hospitality, certificate in quality standard, certificate foods and drugs board, That's and right. the University of Arab Republic of Egypt yeah. and all those places are some That's of the places right. you've picked all yeah. of this. Yeah. Why did you keep adding on and adding on and adding on? You knew the <sighs> thing. I saw an advert on television of yeah. your husband, mm. late husband, yeah. saying that if you're a good cook, you don't need to be testing your stew here, no, left, right, and no. there. You put enough in there yes. and you are damn sure, those yes. were his words, exactly. that the taste will come out right. right. Why, did you keep, why did you have to keep doing all of this? Um, you know, that is what my late husband wants. Mm. He really wants me to put my talent on board okay. and update it mm. and upgrade it. Okay. So that's what I keep on doing. Mm. And especially when he became a minister for the Food and Agricultural Ministry, yes. that actually threw a challenge to me. Okay. Because uh, being that in that ministry, that has to do with food. 
And I was handling the practical side, mm. that's cooking those food mm -hmm. that the farmers are producing. Right. I will have to now experiment them. So I started experimenting with that. Mm. And uh, I remember one day I saw some powder mm. in the store. Okay. And I thought it was flour. Ooh. So the workers took it and said, Mommy, we have some flour here. So okay, then you add it to what we have. Apparently, it was not flour, mm. but it was cassava flour. Ooh. So we used it to prepare cake. And the cake came out beautifully. Uh -huh. So when it came, I showed it to me. I said, I saw some label, but they said, Cassava flour. Yes. Was it cassava flour? He yeah. said, yes. I said, this is the cake. He said, wow. So he was surprised. Okay. So he said, oh, then it's a good product. It's so good we discovery. can expand on it. Absolutely. So we started using it to prepare pastries as well as cakes mm. for people to eat, mm. which they never knew. <laughs> <laughs> they never knew they were I eating see. cassava flour. Wow. But that one can stay for weeks, but the flour mm. itself cannot stay for It cannot, because cake it gets exactly, moldy and all exactly. of that. So we realized that mm. we had something that we need to protect. So do you still so do cassava cakes? Why not? Wow. Yes, I do it. Interesting. Do that, it. That, that, that's that's yes. really interesting. Yes. So I even advise that mm. they should just reduce the starch from it. Okay. So that it can become lighter. Mm -hmm. That we can just have it for baking. We call it bakery, uh, cassava bakery flour. Okay. So we're using that to prepare different types of pastries. Mm. You'll be amazed. Mm. You'll be amazed. Mm. Yes. So yes. really, I'm trying to find out a little bit in your background. I, mean, I don't want to lose that, yeah. the 60s experience yeah. of yeah. your life because yeah. I want to move on. And I'm sure once I get into <laughs> Major Karate Kwashiga, we may not have the opportunity <laughs> to come back. So as I try to find out, what, what kind of a, a young girl were you growing up? I mean, what did you find yourself doing? What was the nature of the kind of home you grew up in? What was uh, your daily activities like? Well, uh, you know, my, my mother left my father. Mm. And I was the only one among six of my siblings. Mm. So I stayed up. I stayed with my mom, with mm. a stepfather, okay. and with my other siblings. Mm. But then, you know, my mother was a very strict disciplinarian. Wow. She never liked just anything. Mm. She wants the proper things to be done. And I was brought up in that way. Okay. And today, you will see that I'm bringing up anybody that is around me in that way, mm. especially my children. Mm. And sometimes they think that I am too strict. But then I feel so proud when my daughter will send me a test message mm. wishing me Happy Mother's Day wow. and telling me all the good things that a mother is. Wow. That we didn't know mm. that all that you were t taking us through was a training. Mm. And today, I'm happy you have ushered me into a peaceful marriage. Wow. And I am doing so well with my husband wow. without any problem. Mm. I want you mm. to do that to mm. my other sisters and my brother wow. so that they can also have an enjoyable life. Mm. That, mommy, we love you. Oh. And sometimes you do this. You think that you are too straight. But mm. my mother didn't pamper me. Mm. She did not pamper us. So mm. we were brought up like that. So I grew up in that kind of culture. Okay. Yes. You're having a discussion with Mrs. Yeah. Gertrude Koshiga yeah. about her life. Right. A true entrepreneur, yeah. a businesswoman, <laughs> and one who really is a go-getter <laughs> from the Peswa stage <laughs> to the CD stage of doing with business. With the money box. <laughs> with the money box and all of that. And she's just telling us how we can, with small beginnings, yeah. or even shifting away from things that look like they are the things we yeah. should do, Really get into the arena, which will really set you up yeah. to the greater heights you never anticipated. And that's exactly the story. Yeah. Major Courage Koshiga, definitely, I'm sure you want to hear something about him. Retired and uh, the late, I should say. Uh, we'll, we'll also feature, that's her late husband, this is Gertrude Koshiga. It's with us, Amber Quality Foods Limited, and of course, um, the wife of the late Major Courage Koshiga. It's in the studio with us. So let's talk about your business again um, and what you do. There are certain things that you, you put out on a regular basis. What really th does your business represent? Somebody was telling me today about some of your pastries and uh, that she enjoys it absolutely so much. But really, I'm sure that a lot of us who also like it, we wish we could have it for our parties and all, who don't know where you are, who don't know how to contact you and all. Okay. What do you have? What do you put out? And how can Actually, people get in touch? Actually, uh, our business... Mm. Uh, is actually focused on local food preparations. We are saying that we're going back to our roots. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, we're going to bring back some of the older ways mm. that our, our parents mm. were preparing food. We're bringing them back to okay. modernize them. Okay. So that one has been our, our, our interest area. Mm. But then in order to do that, we need to have, give the right taste to the food and then the quality mm. as well. Then mm. the presentation. Mm -hmm. For example, we, when you come to Amba, yeah. we are specialized in our local food preparation, like our okro. Okay. Because I am from the Volta region, right. you see, okro, okro soup mm -hmm. is our staple food. And, it's, and you are the yes, best makers yes. of it. And then before, we normally use the palm oil, mm. a lot of it to prepare okro soup. Okay. But now, we're saying that we want to modernize that mm -hmm. by looking at the quality okay. and adding some healthy tips mm. to the preparation of okro soup. Mm. So we now prepare okro without oil. Mm. And people will come and say they want okro soup mm -hmm. without oil. Oh, wow. You understand? Yeah. And then, madam, don't forget, give us the okro with the steamed fish. <laughs> 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 so now they know that we can do okro without oil, mm -hmm. steam the fish, right. and add a lot of leaves okay. and garden eggs. All right. So we call it the okro leafy soup. Okay with steamed fish. All right. You see, so I'm we sure are actually... I'm questioning some people's appetites yes, at home so now. So then we prepare <laughs> our banku or mm -hmm. akple, mm -hmm. not with the fermented corn, okay. but with the powder, the okay. corn powder, with okay. just a little cassava flour. Okay. But I have my own way of preparing my uh, akple. I call it the wokple. Okay. The wokple is actually very light, okay. but I add grounded rice to it mm. and some sesame seed. Wow. Because now the story is going different. Mm. We're talking about nutritional values, okay. nutritional information. Okay. You need to know what your body is taking mm. so that you can take care of your cholesterol and all other things. Wow. And you need to also balance your food mm -hmm. by giving the right nutrient mm. to the food. Mm. So you don't just eat. Mm. But when you come to Amba, mm -hmm. we say cooking is our business. Wow. But we give you the right taste, okay. the quality, all right. and the presentation. Wow. So when they give you your food with the boma in it, yes. with maybe a little crab in mm -hmm. it, and the beef must be minimized, okay. even though it's good to eat beef, okay. but everything in moderation. Sure. Okay. So that is our food. Okay. You can have it in the okra and the garden egg stew, mm -hmm. and that one also less oil. Okay. So we have our garden photo that mm -hmm. we have to beef it up or with a lot of vegetables. So we add smoked fish mm -hmm. or tuna to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Because gari before, mm -hmm. people were using it for side dishes. Yeah, sure. You understand? Yes. But now we have tried to make it into a main meal so that people can eat it and be satisfied. Okay. And you need to create a lot of dishes. Mm -hmm. Apa prancer. Mm -hmm. Yes. We cook apa prancer with the palm oil. Mm -hmm. But then we also have our own method. And I have my method of apa prancer. Wow. I call jangpila. You know, mm. in our area we say jangpila, but okay. we use the coconut oil mm. and the coconut milk mm. to prepare our paprasa. I see. You understand? Right. Because the world now is moving away mm. from the old ways mm. and the bad ways mm. of, of eating or yeah. preparing food. Sure. Now, anytime we travel, we don't just travel to go and just mingle with people, but we go to learn as well. Mm. And when we learn, we bring it to our land mm. to come and teach our people how the right things are these days. Mm. And as we speak, things have changed. When you go now amongst our people, you will see, and I mean my people, I mean my people, the chefs. Okay. Yes, because okay. I happen to be one of them. Right. And then anytime they travel, I have to go with them mm. as a mm. mother. Mm. Yes. Mm. So we go and learn new things there mm. with the chefs and the chefs in the whole world we meet and we talk about food preparations, okay. hospitality, etc., etc. Great. So we go there to actually showcase our local food. There's so much there, mm. and we have gone into food preparation so much that my food is actually without enough a lot of oil. Mm. So I go with the healthy tips. Okay. Take your food with only less oil. Okay. Eat less carbohydrates. Right. You know, drink a lot of water. water. In, encourage yourself by 
beefing up your food intake with a lot of vegetables, mm. eat fruits mm. in between meals mm. and making your food balanced. So we have actually coined all those areas. And we want to teach people how these things can be prepared mm -hmm. because our society... So that's you preparing the things you are describing oh, on the screen right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, that's uh, uh, yeah. Father Campbell right mm -hmm. behind you. That's right. Yes, yes. That's at the Children's Park. Children's Park. Yes, I can see yes. Dr. Park was in on the left-hand right. side right. as well. Right. Yes, yes. Wow. It was a food fair. Oh. Yes, a Greek fair. Okay. And we were chosen to prepare dishes mm, yes. okay and that you are the head and this is the whole management course that we instituted mm. and then we're going to go back to it again okay yes we just went on a short break mm. <laughs> just mm. our women our lovely women you know clapping for themselves wow. after they have come out with some new concepts wow yes All and right. this is uh, issues of life mm. on tv3 on TV? Yeah, with right. uh, diamond agbeke All right yes we're doing some demonstrations of uh, maybe i don't know whether moringa or this our <laughs> local leaves. leaves. Okay, that's something. <laughs> yes, some, a lot of vegetables I can see. Yeah, in this there. is purely vegetarian food, uh -huh. and some of the Hebrew Americans, um, Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Yes, they brought us some new concepts to know how to prepare with vegetables. Okay. And some soya beans into chicken, into um, beef or wheat being prepared from uh, beef, be prepared from wheat meat, mm. wheat, uh, yes, wheat flour. Mm. So we were doing all that for people those days. But we have not stopped. Mm. We are going to start again. <laughs> interesting. Yes, um, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm sure those are the pictures yes. that we yes, have yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, on, the, on the matter. I see. Great. Oh, yes. Let's come. Thank okay, okay. There's, there's some yeah. more pictures. Yeah. Uh, this is the same. This is the same program you are uh, oh, talking okay. about. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And and, and uh, yes. taking care of yes. the cooking and making things. it happen. Yes. So I'm sure you also do. You cater for functions. And uh, all a lot. Uh, we do and weddings, <clears throat> especially. We also do cocktail receptions. Mm. Uh, numbers is not our problem. Okay. We can go as far as to five thousand. Really? Yeah, we've done that several How? times. And we do that even outside Accra. Mm. We go out there. Mm. It's all preparations. Okay. Yes. And then we also cater for, well, I don't want to mention the funeral, all mm. this, mm -hmm. and then um, any event, okay. corporate bodies, okay. anything. So okay. we were cooking those days for a lot of corporate bodies mm. and a lot of um, Otum Force Educational Fund. Okay. We prepare their food for them. Okay. A lot and lots. I can't even remember now. Of course. So much that we have done. But of course, yes. as I said in the introduction, you've also catered then, um, for the high and mighty, so yes, to speak. Yes, exactly. I mean, Tony Blair, <laughs> George Bush, <laughs> President Kufu, we even, we President We took Yabale. that to the Craig. To Kofredo at, at, at the Craig. I see. Um, to Cocoa Research Institute. Okay. That's where we went with the food. Oh, wow. We have to travel with the British delegation mm. there to go and mm. you know, serve them mm. with the food. Mm. And Tony Blair with the USAD, they came to uh, our restaurant to host their people there. Oh, I see. Sadly. <laughs> That's great. That's, that must be And feel they proud. like our food, the Kelewole, yeah. the Gary Photo, okay. the, this uh, Ofam. The okay. plantain tartlets, yes. our wache, our aboboy and kaklu, a whole lot. Uh, ademe, we also prepare ademe for them. I see. They love that so much. Mm. And a whole lot and a whole lot. Our yakaiki, mm. our bolo, mm. and a lot. You know, we have Somebody's so also much wondering there. now, I have yes. a wedding coming. Yes. How do yes. I find you? Oh, I'm on. <laughs> 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 you know, we have, we have now opened a branch at uh, Osu. Oh, okay. Yes, I was doing that before my late husband uh, okay. passes on, <coughs> and then I have to continue, mm. you know. Mm. So my daughter is there now mm. handling that place. Mm. And recently, we were called upon to come and manage uh, the, the new Gapuha Towers. Sweet. So that's where we are. We've been there for, I think, two months now. I see. And then uh, every time we are offering training programs for people, mm. because each time we go there, I have to train up, I have to put all my concept there and train these people before they can get used to our dishes. And then we have our food knowledge mm. so that anywhere you go in our branches, 
the food actually tastes the same. Okay. So our emphasis oh, wow. is actually on grills wow. rather than fries. Okay. So we don't want to be frying food all okay. the time, okay. but grills, mm. grilling food, that is what so we So you have health yes, at the heart of the that's matter. Right, yes. Some messages have come in for you. David yeah. Kuyovu says the best African dishes. That's all he says. <laughs> and for him, that's what you represent. <laughs> well, Kojo Kumavi you. says that, Madam Kwashiga, are you sure that the discipline in Ketasko in <laughs> your day still exists? Because these days, if you go to the look of uh, funerals, yeah. you see Ketasco girls with braided hair. Very sad. <laughs> Any message for these girls? <laughs> we need to train them. <laughs> we need to train them. Yes. All right. Uh, 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 Kwejo Oscar says, wow, in your 50s and you still look young, what's your secret? Oh, my God. I really admire you and your God-given talent. Yes, Kudos, mom, and happy Mother's fruits. Day to you. Thank you. Mm. Lot of fruits will make you look fresh. Great. Yes, especially in the mornings. You shouldn't desist from that. Okay. Especially in the morning. Of fruits in the morning. First thing in the morning, after taking your water, Mm. you need to take your fruits. Listen That's to the question right. that a lady has sent you. Keleku Mone Kadela. Yeah. Madam, you are beautiful. Thank you. Do you have the intention of remarrying? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. That's the toughest question you've been asked on I tonight's show. I tell you, my goodness. <laughs> That's too much to answer. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> They'll ask your answer right there. See. Edward Mieza, <laughs> Madam Gertrude, I'm learning so much from you and wish yes. you very well in your Thank catering you. job. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day Thank to you. you. Thank you. It's interesting that you got yeah. the, the pre-Mother's Day slot. That's right. Benjamin Kobnamwa, <laughs> I will absolutely tune in to learn how to cook since I'm yeah. a bachelor. Oh, right. wow. <laughs> He's and even bring cook. the wife for us to train. Okay, yes. when he gets married, yes. good for him. That's right. Prince Kwaku Maxwell. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, cooking is for ladies. As always said, uh, okay, people say cooking is for ladies, but to him, they are wrong. Mm. Restaurants and canteens in Ghana need to learn something from mm. our lady. That's right. We are tired of their monotonous meals. That's right. Okay, all right, Prince. So that's your point right there. Mm. Isaac Abwaji says that women should pay more attention to this than men. Mm. Mm. So Isaac thinks that that's for the cooking. Mm. He won't do it. He <laughs> should let the women do it. Andrews G. Brain mm -hmm. Green Saki. Yeah. He says, my ingredients are ready. Okay, his point is that he has his ingredients ready. That's he wants right. you to tell him what to do. No problem. So he can fix something <laughs> for himself. Just call me and I'll just tell him the method. Right. Paco right. says, wow, beautiful. The wow has how many O's? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Oh, my goodness. That's what Paco is saying, Sass. <laughs> Samuel Apau Jr. Yeah. He says, this program is seriously for Ghanaian ladies of today. Mm -hmm. He thinks that the Ghanaian ladies of today don't cook well. <laughs> so he, he wants them to listen to this program. <laughs> and um, Umar Yunus yep. says, interesting program. Thank you, Umar. Thank you. At your bong in work. He says, I don't like cooking, but I enjoy eating. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good for you yes. uh, on that. Lucky. Luckily, we have, okay, Mensasson Nelson Nimen says, yes, so truly African. Okay, all right. He thinks that this is truly African. You can still send us some more messages, yeah. 1760 by text yeah. across our mobile That's networks. Right. It cost you 30 pesos. Mm -hmm. If you're on Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash multi TV world. Mm -hmm. Where did you meet Major Courage, Kwashika? <laughs> and where? Hey, that's a very strong <laughs> question. <laughs> You know, we didn't meet in Kita. Oh, even yeah. though he's from Kita yes. as well. I met him before I got to know that he's also an old student. Of yeah. Kita school? Yes. I see. So yes. you weren't there when he was there? No. Of course, he had no. left before you came. Yes, because we left 79, 80. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. And they left much earlier. That's right. <laughs> so you didn't meet in Kita? No. You met in Accra? In Accra, in Tema. Oh, in Tema? Yes. What were you doing? <laughs> what, what were you about? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was with my elder sister, mm. and then they traveled. Okay. She traveled with her husband to the UK. Okay. And uh, I went to visit a friend at the fishing hub. But those days, mm. food was scarce. Mm. So I went there to visit a friend. Okay. Actually, my school mother. This was days. the 80s? No, that was 81. 81. Yes, when right. I moved to Accra. Okay. Yes. Right. And then uh, I met uh, an old man. Mm -hmm who was actually worrying me. And mm. I said, oh, please, I'm married. Don't worry me. <laughs> so he keeps on asking my friend, mm. ah, who is this lady? Okay. I said, oh, Papa, oh, leave this girl alone. And you were 21 years old? Yes. I was 81. young. I yep. was very young, to be honest with you. I was very young. <laughs> right. Very slim. Wow. Yes. So he got to know where I was from. Ooh. So one day I went home. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, normally I go to pick the children from school mm -hmm. and they I force them mm -hmm. to have sister. Okay. So I slept with them. Mm -hmm. So when I wake up, I woke up and then uh, one of the ladies on the block was saying, uh, some men came to look for you. Mm -hmm. I said that. Uh, and those are your sister's children you're talking about? Yes, okay. I normally take care of them. They were three. All right. They said they are going to come back. Mm. I was there in the next uh, 20 minutes and they came back. Hey. So I said, ah, I knew this man. Yeah. I normally meet him <laughs> at the fish harbor. <laughs> but the other man, I didn't know him, but he was just looking at me. Mm. I didn't understand. So I ushered them in, gave them a place to sit, mm. gave them water, he was looking at me. <laughs> so I gave the water to them. Mm. Then the man mm. said, oh, this man was looking for you. Mm. And I happened to just help him by bringing him <laughs> to your house so uh i'll be going mm. i said hey how can you bring a stranger to my house <laughs> and then you just leave him, and, leave go. him and go i said no he says he knows your sister so then he started talking yes i knew your sister those mm. days in school mm. he schooled with my younger sister elizabeth oh. Oh. so i know i know them very well oh. so don't worry oh. uh, i'm your brother mm. so the man left <laughs> and the two of us, we didn't have anything to talk about. <laughs> we were just looking at each other, no conversation. So I excused him that mm. I wanted to prepare food. Mm. So that he was there with the children. They okay. were talking and, you know, he yeah. was teaching them. Right. I was cooking. Before I could look, this man came to the kitchen that he wants to help me. Oh. I said, oh, please, excuse me. Can you sit? Yeah. When I finish, he, he said, no. <laughs> I was grand. He said he wants to do the pepper too. <laughs> so... After I finished, I gave him some of the food to eat. Mm. <coughs> then he asked for leave. Okay. Then after some time, after three days, he yeah. came again. Wow. Then he started coming. This time, he wants to marry. Hey. So the word marriage was direct. Oh. So we were not friends. It was just real marriage. I see. Straight to the point. So you, you <laughs> but you agreed. Well, he was a nice looking man. Nice looking man. So when you see, because I never like soldiers, mm. you know, with their high, the hair cut, I never like them. Oh, okay. But this man was a soldier with a neat cut. Wow. You will never know he's a military man. Okay. And with his big eyes, right. of course, you know, when you look at him, he's a refined soldier. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he started to go. Mm. I see. Oh, my God. So after how many years did you marry him? Um, oh, that's a picture of the two of you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get all these pictures from? <laughs> That's oh good no. production work. That's what we call it. Oh, no, no, Major no. Courage <laughs> Kashiga, rest in oh, peace. It's a happy man. times with him. Oh, wow. Please, huh? You look happy together. <laughs> <laughs> that was his last birthday we had for him. Oh, I see. How old was he that day? 62 years. 62. Yes. 62. We didn't know that was the last birthday because you say, uh, this will be my last birthday I will ever celebrate. As That's what he said? Was, as if it was a joke. That's interesting. Yeah, yes. I think, uh, I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. You never know. Because this man, uh, since I've finished my work, mm. I need to go. Mm. Since I've finished my work, I need to go. Very tough guy. Every time he's talking about that. Mm. How many years were you married for? Uh, for 28 years. 28 years? Before he left. Before he left. Yes, yes. Wow. I see. But, uh, but many people think he probably yeah. left too soon. Yeah, I think so. But um, when I followed him to Israel, his last words were like, uh, God has asked him to go and serve the world, to transform the world, mm. to transform the world, but not one nation. Mm. So he will be going, but then I shouldn't be worried. Mm. Each time I meet him or I, I remember him, I should just call him by his name, Emmanuel, because mm. he's going to turn into a spirit. Wow. But all those things, all those time, I just hear, like, as if it was, he was just joking, mm. you know, because he didn't look like somebody who was going to go mm. all of a sudden. Mm. But What were you doing in Israel? Um, we went for a checkup. Okay. Yeah, we went for a checkup. Okay. And then we're going to continue to a program that he has to go and launch in Chile. Mm. So from there, we were planning to continue from there. Mm. Yes, but um, unfortunately, God decided to take him away. And he actually told you, in, in not, not in so yeah. many words, yeah. but he still... Because um, 
you will realize that uh, he loved Israel. Mm. You know, he, and um, that was why he brought the Israeli, uh, the Dimona concept to Ghana. to Ghana. So he loved the ways, the way they go about their things in a decent way. I see. So when we even said we should go to the U.S., he said no. Okay. South Africa, he said no. Mm. But Israel was the country that he said he would go. Okay. Even at the time I was catering for MTN, he mm -hmm. said he would wait for me. See. When I finish, then we go, we together. go together to Israel. And I was going to say he should take one of the boys, mm. his, his children. Mm. He said, no, 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 no. You wait for me. Wow. So he, he took his last breath in my hands. Really? Yeah. How did that feel? It was, in fact, I didn't believe it up to now as I speak. It was, and that uh, was how many years ago? Well, two years. Two. We were in the third year. Yeah. It was 2009, if yeah, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I didn't believe it myself. Did you cry? Because I tell you. Because we're only two, and I didn't understand any language. Mm. The Hebrew, I didn't understand. And uh, it was terrible. Because I gave him the last bath, mm. and as if he said, oh, just give me a shave. Mm. So I didn't know how to shave, but I have to learn how to do it. Mm. And I did it clean, mm. you know, because he liked a clean, clean shave. shave. And I did his hair for him, gave him a bath, mm. and he was, he was happy. I see. So I should give him some water. So wow. I gave him the water. And I was just stepping out to pick something. Then the nurse came in and was, was calling him, calling him. That was it. I came, took him, and that was the last one. <sighs> Peacefully. Fuano, myopia, Fuano sends a message. He says, great woman with a lot of unique ideas. John Konedo, interesting, madam. I want to know whether Kitasko is still a place to study. Yeah. What was the relationship between the headmaster and his teachers? In your time at Ketasco, I can yes. see people are really interested in Ketasco. Yes. Uh, is this still the place to go? Oh yes. Mm. The headmaster there was an old student. Okay. It's a Kwao. Okay. And he's doing wonders. I see. Yes. All right. Doing wonders. So you advise that people should yes, go there? Yes, of course. Yes. Kwabi Aj, Madam, you are a true Ghanaian lady. God bless you, Thank you. and wish you well Thank in you. all That's that you fine. do. Uh, that is from uh, a well wisher watching us. But really, you mentioned that Major told you that if you miss him, just call him by his name, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. because he would have transformed into a spirit. That's right. But, so Emmanuel was his name. That was his How name. How come everybody called him Courage Kwashiga? You know, what he told me was that, mm. because I asked him the same. He said the courage was given to him by his friends, his colleague friends, his school, mm. his mates. Mm that uh, the, he was assistant school prefect at the time. Okay. And there was a problem between some of the students and the masters. Okay. And they were sent home. Mm. So he thought that it was not fair. Mm. So he has to fight for them being uh, an assistant. Mm. So he fell a victim also. He fell a victim to that. Okay. And he was also sent home for oh. challenging authorities. Okay. So that time was their final year, mm. was in his final uh, exam. Mm. So he did an exam from the house, mm. but he passed very well. Okay. So his friends were so amazed that even you, with even this treatment, yeah. you still did your exam and passed well. Wow. You are very courageous. Okay. So the name Courage was given to him. I see. Yes. And everybody took the name Emmanuel. That's right. But then the real name was Emmanuel. God is with us. Okay. That was what the, the name the father gave to him. I see. Emmanuel Kobla. Okay. Yes. Emmanuel Kobla Kwashiga. Mm. He became courage yes. for that purpose. Mm. He, he, was a, he boxed in, in the military. He was a boxer. Wow. Yes. Tough guy. He was a man of so many things. Yeah. He, he, was, he, he exercised himself in everything. Mm. Everything. Mm. That's, He's that's a great singer. He sings very well. Wow. And even formed the choir amongst wow. the, the, his children oh. as well as the, the sister's children. And he formed the Celestial Choir. Mm. But he yeah. loved politics. I tell you. But... Politics for him is, is like, uh, you know, serving your country, but dutifully. Okay. So he was like a patriot. For him, he, he, he did it with decency, mm. that I would say. So in the 80s, during the coup, yeah. um, he, he's, in record, uh, he's on record and some of the books cited as saying that there shouldn't be any panic and all of those things. Yeah. What was the situation like at home at that time? You know, that was the time I met him. That's the time you met him? And then, uh, you know, uh, he came to pick me mm. from, from Tema. We were coming to Accra. Mm -hmm. So he said, 
uh, his, hanky, his handkerchief yes. didn't match his dress. Oh. So we should pass through, by then he was at the Ashanti house, we should pass through the Ashanti house and okay. he can pick his handkerchief. Mm. So when we came there, then they told him that his dog, that was a pet, yeah. died that morning. Wow. So they said, oh, he gave money that he should be buried well. Wow. So from there, we were coming down and we met Captain Pattinson on the way. Mm -hmm. So we were going towards a friend's house on the switchback road. Mm -hmm. When we heard, because that was the first time I heard a gunshot, Ooh. you know, and then his Motorola, they were calling him and calling some people. Yeah. And he said, ah, is that not the person they were calling at Jibwedi? That is him passing to the broadcasting house. Ooh. You understand? Yes. So me, it was just stories because me, I'm not used to that. Right. So his face just changed mm. all of a sudden. I was asking him, no, he wouldn't answer. Mm. So gradually we went to the friend's house. What I saw was that he just came out of the car, took his, uh, you know, he opened the boot, took his overall, mm -hmm. his, uh, you know, you know he was a ranger. Yeah, sure. They were trained for that. Absolutely. Within no time, he has finished dressing with his helmet. Shim, he just left me there. Going where? He was going to, <laughs> he was going to fall the crew. <laughs> So because by it. yeah, and then they were they were calling their names, and his name was among the names. So wow. he was rushing to go and fall the coup. Wow. I was like, and I left the children at home. It was terrible for me, but luckily for me, the friend, sir, girlfriend came from the UK, mm -hmm. and she too was called Gertrude. Okay. So I was with her, mm. and, but I was was not comfortable until after some hours. Then he came back smelling with ammunition <laughs> with a white band and i was scared to go near him and i told him that me i don't like i don't like military <laughs> men <laughs> but he told me that he was going to come out of the, the you know the military. Don't worry. i see yeah so he loved his job mm. he loved his job mm. my final question about him is that how do you remember him i can't i, I don't know it's, it's so difficult uh, each time we are talking we, we end up talking about him. Mm. Every time we're talking about ourselves, yes. there's no, because he sets so much record. Even in the house, mm. the way he is, mm. we'll be talking with the children, mm. his name will come. Mm. So we don't even know how to forget about okay. this man. Somebody who has done so well, and that is why I keep on telling people that you should always do something good to be remembered. Okay. And it's an example for me. Okay. I'm also learning from it. Okay. That what do I do now for people to remember me, mm. even if I'm not there? Yes. Great impact that he made on you. Yeah. So many workshops you've attended. You have many areas of expertise. Unfortunately, we can't go into all of it. Corporate <laughs> management, directorship yes. and entrepreneurship, That's marketing right. and branding, mm. packaging and presentation, yes. catering and cooking, healthy food advocacy, hospitality management, home management, plant-based diets, public relations, agro-food processing, right. consultancy, mm -hmm. so many things, so many positions mm -hmm. held, member of South Africa Chefs Association, Ghana, Ghana Export Promotion, AGI, Chamber of Commerce, so many events attended, celebrity programs, awards, Ghana Star Award for Packaging and Presentation, Ghana Association of Women Entrepreneurs Award for Women Empowerment, Obama Gold Award for Women Empowerment, the People's Service and Fellowship Award for National and Distinguished Service from the Country Awards Council Ghana, led a team of Ghanaian chefs to Info Chef Competition in South Africa 2005, won a gold medal in Ghanaian dishes, attended so many exhibitions, African Big Seven in South Africa, World Association of Chefs <laughs> Exhibition in South Africa, <laughs> South African Chefs Association Exhibition Product Sampling and Food Competition. That's we can right. go on and on mm. and on. I mean, yes. great lady, great yeah. lady by all standards. Thank you. And um, at 53, yeah. about to get yeah. that, yeah. you've done so much and still doing so much. Thank you. Thank you. Amber Quality Foods is here yeah. to stay. Thank you. And uh, we thank you for affecting our That's lives right. the way you have and also thank for inspiring you. us tonight. That's right. We wish you the very best in all thank that you, you do. Thank you. And we say may the good Lord continue to bless you. That's right.